The FA Cup returned to Wembley Stadium after a seven-year wait. It was fitting that the country's two best sides, Chelsea and Manchester United, would contest the final and usher in a new era. After successive league championships, Chelsea had lost their grip on the title to Manchester United. But Jose Mourinho had an excellent record over Sir Alex Ferguson and would be feeling confident his Blues could steal United's thunder. The stage was set for a grand opening, the likes of Drogba, Ronaldo, Rooney, Terry, Ferdinand and Lampard ready to grace the Wembley turf. A very good afternoon to you all the world over and how fitting then in the year that the Football Association's new Wembley dream at last becomes reality. The FA Cup final itself is best with such a sumptuous showdown within these palatial, awe-inspiring surroundings. A long wait but worth the wait if England's current finest, Chelsea and Manchester United can, as everyone is hoping, provide a global audience potentially of up to two billion households over 150 countries with a spectacle, a titanic struggle to match the occasion. Prince William and the official FA delegation. to the teams in and confirm the two lineups for you starting with Chelsea and for all the problems that seem to have been mounting for Jose Mourinho in recent times still nonetheless a team fully capable of matching the high standards expected of them with major players such as Czech Terry Essien Lampard Joe Cole and of course 32 goal Didier Drogba all included but otherwise with a full squad to choose from Sir Alec Ferguson will have few reservations I'm sure about starting with a team Boasting the, the talents of skipper for the day, Ryan Giggs, Ferdinand, Vidic, Scholes, Rooney and of course Ronaldo. Not to mention Michael Carrick who's emerged as such a genuine force over the season. Which is being refereed by Steve Bennett. Leading out Chelsea, of course John Terry who knows the only really way to, to ease the hurt of losing the title to United is to beat them today. It is United then to kick off, attacking the goal to our left, and here's Gabriel Hense, something of a surprise inclusion at the expense of Everett, who had been expected to start in that left-back position. Nemanja Vidic, the first serve to play in an FA Cup final, and very much a cult figure with the United fans for the way that he's been performing this season. A few weeks ago, it seemed unlikely that he would be in this final, having suffered a broken collarbone. But he's come back very quickly, and very well too. Well, the interesting thing to start off with in this first couple of minutes here, that uh, Carrick and Scholes have gone to play in the middle of the field. Fletcher has gone out, out to, on the right-hand side, Ronaldo on the left-hand side, and uh, Rooney and Giggs. Giggs is playing off Rooney, which obviously he's done a lot this season, but that certainly is the starting formation which is different to what we've been informed but I would think the message to Ronaldo is get at Ferreira that I would think is the game plan for Sir Alec Ferguson we'll feel there might just be a weakness there Ronaldo of course has been at times this season simply unplayable Michael Essien the Ghanaian forced it to emergency duty as a central defender again in the absence of Cavallio here's John Terry Chelsea's talismanic captain. Now Wayne Bridge. I 
think it's fair to say he's in on merit for this game. Ashley Cole isn't fully fit. Struggling with an ankle problem, but all the same bridge in his absence recently has played very well. And I think forced his way into uh, Mourinho's plans. And certainly they will be looking at Chelsea to have him motoring down that left side whenever possible, White Bridge. Decent ball tossed in towards Drogba. And there is the first aerial threat from the giant Ivorian. 32 goals this season. And of course the golden boot winner in the Premiership with his 20 in the top flight. Well, it's a good cross in from Wayne Bridge there. We know how dangerous Drogba can be in the air. But Hensley just did enough, just got his body underneath him, which made him force the ball over the top of the bar. Now Ronaldo. The footballer of the year. And that's why, almost delivered. Rooney waiting in the middle. Essien it was who cut it out. Cole breaking. Played in for Drogba. Cole's continued his run through the middle, so as right for it. It's Drogba! Decent effort, too. As defenders backed off. Well, I was only just thinking to myself, we've seen nothing of Drogba from the, really, from the stars of the game, apart from one header. He's managed to pick it up there. He's got runners going on beyond, dragging the back four back towards Van der Sar. He sees the opening, hits lots of power, but not quite enough direction. But uh, again, that's what he's capable of. He's allowed to run at you. Ronaldo. Very wayward pass by him, though, this time. Straight up, Mikel. Makaleli. He won't be venturing too far forward, I'm sure. Mikel. Makaleli happy for him to take it on. There's Paolo Ferreira joining it now. Drop pass in the middle. Lampard as well. Still Ferreira. Here is Lampard. And a good stop by Edwin Van der Sar. First time he's really been extended so far. And he was certainly up to it. Well, that's probably only the second time that Frank Lampard's got in the box. But I think that Hansen there thought that Ronaldo was going to follow that run. He didn't. It's a lovely little ball with his outside of his foot. And how many times have we seen Frank Lampard score from that position? But a good save from Van der Sar. First time he's been tested. And as I say, it's probably only the second time that Frank Lampard's actually got into the box for Chelsea in this half. Six goals in the FA Cup from Lampard this season. Joe Cole now. Just took it too far, though. The angle... Too much in the end. Well, it was his first touch, wasn't it? It was a good ball from Sean Wright Phillips, and he just needed to take it down his left foot towards the goal, and he had a strike on goal. But his first touch took him away from goal, and the opportunity had gone. Lampard. Goal again. Now Makaleli. Not renowned for his goal scoring, but he's got for it here. He's only got two during his Chelsea time. Drogba. He's got plenty more, and then Wright Phillips. Can't keep it down. But beginning to impose themselves now, Chelsea, in this first half. Very much in the mood, buzzing around everywhere. Joe Cole. Right for lips. Now bringing Bridge into the play. Lampard. Good strike, too. Underlying yet again his eye for goal. Well, yet yeah, again he shows Frank that he doesn't have to be in the box to score goals there. It's a, it's a tremendous shot. Had Van der Sar worried because it was dipping. It was dipping very late, but thankfully for Van der Sar, dips over the top of the crossbar. Here's Wayne Rooney, who might yet go all the way. Still Rooney! Beaten away! Offside! Kicks on the follow-up. Super save by Peter Cech. Well, it was initially a mistake by Mikel... Uh, um, Makaleli, sorry, and there. He gets goes past Essien as though he doesn't exist, then takes it past Ferreira. Opens himself up. Good save from Cech. 
but certainly you can see there that Giggs is already stood in an offside position, albeit Czech made a second save, but uh, that's Rooney at his best, running at people, when he has that space he can cause anybody problems, and a good shot at the end, but uh, Czech always in control of the situation. Only once has Sir Alec Ferguson got the better of Jose Mourinho in the past. I think to turn the tide this afternoon, but it reminds me of a very close call. Well, I think certainly in the next 10 or 15 minutes he'll be looking at is this system actually working because you know, all we've seen is the one chance in this second half which really created for himself and pulled a good save out of Peter Sheck. But apart from that, we haven't seen an awful lot of of United opening up Chelsea's back four and I think he'll look at that and think you know we need to be doing better and maybe he needs to change the system a little bit to help that Drop by whitening up the Chelsea fans now imploring them to get behind their team and they have responded too with United here on the back foot Paulo Ferreira He's followed Jose Mourinho throughout his career, of course, having played with him at two different clubs, including Porto, back at his homeland. Corner says Robin. And the assistant referee over on that far side, Dave Bryan, agrees. Robin will take it. Not before John Terry arrives in the middle. He's only scored once this season, and that was on the opening day, Terry. Over 40 games now without one. Mikel on the near post. And of course, Dropper is in the mix as well. Thank you to concern Manchester United back there. But up comes Rooney, showing his strength on the counter raid here. Terrific run by Rooney. And he's kept going to until it's nicked away from him by Whitebridge. Excellent defending by him. But then a poor clearance straight to Giggs. Ronaldo. This is really promising here for United. They've got three in the penalty area, but the service isn't forthcoming from Brown. But signs here that the cup final is beginning to come alive. Wayne Rooney. Scores. Perfect weight on that pass. And right, Giggs. Only inches over the top. What a ball there from Scholes. A fantastic ball from Paul Scholes there, it really was, just dropped onto Giggs's left foot. Go on, stick that in the net. Unfortunately, <laughs> over the top of the crossbar, but we've seen on two or three occasions, we know that Scholes is capable of doing that, but he needs people to make that run in behind Chelsea's back four to be able to deliver that ball. Such a strong run by Drogba. And well, there was a clash then inside the box, and referee Bennett says no penalty. But did he follow through that drug bar? I tell you what, they had their work cut out then, Ray, just containing the threat of drug bar. Well, as we've said before, he's so, so strong when he gets on a run there. You know, he, he's probably you know, the strongest centre forward in the country. When, when he gets on this run, he's going to take some stopping. And, and Vinic gets across him there and then goes through the. Drogba is frustrated and goes through the back of Vidic and catches him on his ankle. Um, you see it here, look, just Whoa. kicks through the back as he's falling and catches Vidic in the back of his, of his calf and uh, just the frustration of being blocked off. But he just brushed Rio Ferdinand aside for the sheer force of his run. No love lost there between Ferdinand and Drogba. Well, he can complain all he likes. Steve Bennett is not going to concur with his opinion. It's going to be a free kick to Manchester United. They got sloppy at the other end of United, but now they're pressing themselves with Ronaldo. Is this going to be his moment? Never looked like extending Peter Cech, though. Uh, once he's come off that left foot, he just 
cuts right across it. Michael Carrick, you can see, was in free at that near post if you could have spotted him. Pulls it wide and just see Michael Carrick there by the near post. Could have just rolled. Ronaldo to Scholes. Michael Carrick almost out a walking pace. Well, I think Michael Carrick's feeling the pace a little bit in terms of stretching himself off at times, just actually, and might have a little bit of cramp coming on, so he's certainly not moving as freely as he has been throughout the game. Aaron Robert. All oh, gave it away for Eric Kaus, did that to Carrick. Ronaldo, now there's danger. And Rooney to drill it across. Giggs! Oh. Was it over the line? The referee's assistant, who was right in line, says no. What a let off that for Chelsea, as Giggs almost made himself a hero yet again, as he's done so often down the years for Manchester United. But it's Robin here for Chelsea. Callow. Still Salomon Callow. Trying to take them all on. Lampard's up there with it. But United counter the threat, and now it's Alan Smith. Oh, perfect playing conditions today in terms of the surface. But even Smith's getting on it there, and he's got a yellow card now. Well, you have to say, Pisa, how did Ryan Giggs miss this? It's a great ball in from Rooney, it's an open goal for him and he hits it at the one place that Peter Cech could possibly save it. Now I'm not sure if actually Giggs did not force him over the line with the ball, but if he did it, I'm sure it would have been a free kick anyway, so say, yeah. um, it wouldn't have counted. But well, how did he manage to put it in there? That was Robin. Well, sight netting then from Drogba. Whacks it into the crowd into the Manchester United fans back behind that goal. He says sorry. A bit late now. Sheer frustration. Yeah, that's the frustration of the FA Cup. He's not been in the game as much as he'd like to have been. He gets a half a chance here. It is only a half a chance. Can't direct it. And box straight into the crowd. Meantime, it's half time. In the FA Cup final. And it's still without a goal. He might have had his legs clipped then, you know, right, Giggs, but I, th I think you're right. It probably was over the line, but, but surely follow through. I think it's the follow through here. I mean, it's an incredible opportunity. He has to score. He certainly saves it this side of the line. The momentum of Giggs just pushes him straight over the line. It can't be a goal. It's either a free kick uh, and on you go from there, but it can't be a goal, even though certainly the ball is behind the line. The momentum of the player has pushed him through there. And it's a, but this is just a golden opportunity. It really is. You can't get a better opportunity in a cup final than that. Giggs on to Rooney. Chelsea being picked back here. It's Wayne Rooney. Maybe closer than I might have thought from my angle, just past the post. I think it well, might have been further away than I feared, though. I think thought. so, but yet again, you know, Wayne Rooney certainly showing yet yeah. again that he's the one that is causing the threat to Chelsea. Then Mikel, Drogba, Drogba! United is it going to be the winner it's a priceless priceless strike from the man who has been so outstanding all season with his finishing and he's done it again well it was a lovely one too there knocked back into his, his, his face there and it really was a delightful touch van der Sar couldn't possibly get to it it was a lovely touch over the top Ferdinand couldn't get back either and it's a fabulous finish, it really is a fabulous finish. How many times this year have we seen Chelsea win in the dying minutes of either 90 minutes or extra time?
This That's... one in the 116th minute. Didier Drogba. Brown. And then finally, Kalu can play it away to Lampard. Drogba has checked out to the left. This is Kalu. Still bright, still fresh, still full of running. And he might have put the final nail there in United's coffin. Well, he might well have done, but Mourinho will be quite happy that's gone behind the goal there. And I think that's going to be it. It is it. And it's Chelsea in blue heaven. As Mourinho's masters deny Manchester United the double, Didier Drogba with the winning goal of the 116th minute. They have done it again. You just cannot write this team off. Chelsea won, Manchester United nil. At the end of extra time. And they are the winners of the FA Cup 2007 at the new Wembley. And now the party can get underway. It proved to be Jose Mourinho's last trophy as Chelsea manager.